What's up, YouTube fam? Josh Allen with Josh Allen Vlogs here. Today I am going to do a baseline test. I'm going to be tracking my max pull ups, my front squat 10 rep max, overhead shoulder press, and uh, my flat bench, so 10 rep max on that. And then I'm going to finish off with uh, some arms today after getting some baseline testing done. I'm going to start logging this for you guys so I can see my progression throughout the next few weeks. So that's what today is. Last time I was here, they had a huge sign up that said we cannot film or take pictures in the gym. So I'm going to be breaking the rules for you guys. Don't tell on me. Let's get this workout. See you guys in a little bit. Left wrist gave out. I think that one had more to do with my accessory muscles, the muscles that go into play with these types of lifts, and my form. Really, really bad. My left wrist just started to feel all of it. I don't know if you can tell from that distance, but the bar started slipping on like the last two before I dropped that one. So like. After like set seven, my left wrist like started started tightening up, and then I just lost all grip. Either my shoulder, my posture, or my left wrist, or all of the above, are way off on that lift. So I ended up getting nine reps, nine and a half reps at 175, which is not very good for front squats. Considering I used to do 275 for one about a year ago, yeah, exactly a year ago. So I'm really weak. This is a really humbling experience for me, which I need. Starting point isn't great, but I'll get back. That's the whole point of these videos. So let's chalk it up to a 170. 170 on a 10 rep max on front squats. All right, so y'all just finished watching my personal physical fitness test. Uh, I created that for myself. I do know what I need to work on, and I know main lifts that can improve that. So pull-ups, great calisthenic exercise that can drastically increase your lat strength. Front squats fix any kind of like imbalances. You can tell where your imbalances are when you're doing a front squat. It's it's a tough position to get into. Um, and that's why I chose that specific movement because it can, it'll tell me which accessory exercises I need to work on. Like, do I need to work on mobility in my shoulders? Do I need to work on uh, wrist flexibility, mobility, and strength? Do I need to work on um, uh, my rotator cuff flexibility? My hips, are they imbalanced? How can I work on that? Do I need to stretch out certain ways? Do I need to roll out a little bit more on certain sides? So that's the reason that I chose the front squat. A bench press is a great way to build uh, strength in your chest. And that's a very underdeveloped area for me. Right now, everything's underdeveloped. Um, as you can see in those videos, I'm definitely a lot weaker than I used to be. And 
that was a great way to see what I need to work on specifically. So that's why I chose those specific four movements um, as a baseline test. After that baseline test that I just now uh, filmed for you guys that y'all just saw, uh, I actually hit my own workout because that wasn't enough to, you know, have a total body workout today. I had a lot of energy going in. Uh, I ate some pretty good carbs and uh, healthy fats this morning. So, well, I guess my morning is not morning for you guys because I'm nocturnal right now. My whole sleep schedule is just way off. Um, so yeah, so I, as soon as I woke up, I ate really good carbs, uh, really good uh, healthy fats from like the yolk of an egg. Um, and I try not to do more than two eggs in the morning just because there's so many fats. Even though a lot of those like fats from the yolk um, is crucial uh, to your hormones uh, and you need that. Uh, it's not good to like overdo it with cholesterol. So I try to get some egg whites in there as well. I hit six exercises on arms, so uh, tries and buys today. And I actually logged those as well. Um, so why did I get a journal? The reason I got a journal is every week that you go in the gym, you're not, you know, if you're going consistently, you're not going to remember all the lifts that you just did. You're not going to remember the weights that you did if you're going as consistent as you need to be going. So in order to combat that, in order to help myself remember it, I wrote it down. And this is just going to allow me to really look at it from more of like a scientific, uh, practical standpoint. And this will make it easier for me to really progress in the gym, to really see if my lifts are getting stronger, um, if I'm progressing in weight, if I'm progressing in rep count, it's gonna really tell me if I'm getting stronger throughout this next six weeks. So that's exactly why I got the journal. I started journaling in there. So I'm gonna conclude my video right here. Uh, I don't wanna make these videos too long for you guys. Uh, the last one was about 14 minutes. I cut it from like 30 minutes down to like 14 and a half minutes last time, but still a little long for, you know, beginning this vlog. As usual, like, comment, subscribe down below. Got my other social media platforms down there in the description box as well. And keep the conversation going, guys.